Clarion 1.0, a DOS program, was launched in April 1986 as the first version of the Clarion language. Bruce Barrington, one of the founders of the healthcare firm HBO and Company, later bought by McKesson Corporation, and a small team of developers produced Clarion. Barrington's goal was to build a language that was both short and expressive, as well as a screen designer that would maximize the use of the IBM PC's memory map screen. Version 1 generated pseudocode and contained a screen designer interpreter, editor, and debugger in its initial release. It supported databases made up of DAT files, which were Clarion's proprietary ISAM file format at the time. Barrington Systems was founded by Bruce Barrington, who published version 1.0. Clarion 1.0 needed the usage of a dongle, which was frowned upon by the industry at the time. The opportunity to produce royalty-free applications compensated for this. With release 1.1, the dongle was removed. An even more rudimentary version was available at the time. Personal developer had strong limitations on what a user could accomplish, yet it was sufficient for extremely simple database applications. It was significantly less expensive than Professional Developer 1.x. Clarion Professional Developer, CPD, 2.0 was published in May 1988, and it included a component called Designer, which had a data dictionary. Clarion code was created by CPD using the contents of the dictionary and a template known as a, a model file. The model file could be updated, in restricted ways, to produce custom code because it was a text file. The model file was created using the, the browse and form paradigm, in which data is first displayed to the user in a list box, and then updated using a form triggered by the list's buttons. Developers could enhance functions by inserting code at specific locations in the generated code or by hand coding additional procedures. And designers could write all of the fundamental CRUD, create, read, update, delete, code. Language extension modules, LEMs, were also introduced by Clarion Professional Developer, which allowed the language to be extended by using modules produced in other languages and constructed to the LEM standard. LEMs were designed for a variety of uses by Clarion software and numerous third-party tool developers, including an extension for connecting to other databases like DBase, Clipper, and Paradox. CPD2.x was a database system that included all of the displays, reports, databases, and support files that were needed. Clarion Personal Developer, a version of Clarion 2.x for end users, was also launched to allow business users to construct personal applications. Clarion Report Writer was published about the same time. This was designed as a standalone product for Clarion personal developer users and users of applications made by CPD developers, as well as a built-in program included with Clarion Professional Developer version 2.1, which was launched in 1989. Barrington purchased compiler technology from Jensen and Partners International in 1991. JPI. Niels Jensen who had previously been one of the founders of Borland, 1979 or 1981, formed JPI in 1987. Philippe Kahn was the man in charge of promoting Borland's $49 Turbo Pascal compiler. When Kahn decided to buy Wizard C and rename it Turbo C, Niels and his colleagues were working on a new compiler technology at Borland. Niels and a group of other developers left Borland to found JPI, where they continued to develop their compiler technology. Top speed which they purchased for $1.7 million from Borland. 